Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and more Baldur's Gate 3 on the PlayStation 5. If you were with us last time, you'll remember that we came here to this grove and met up with the druids, uh, including Kaga and Nettie. We met with Nettie because she's a healer and she actually tried to poison us, that motherfucker. And Kaga is a druid who does not think there's going to be enough room for the druids and the tie flames. Uh, in this grove, so it is our responsibility to talk to Zevlor, I think his name is, which is right ahead of us here, uh, to escort them out. Uh, this feels like we're kind of the bad guy here, but we're going to see what happens. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them. Bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. That depends. Can you pay me? I suppose so. We don't have much, but we'll scrape together whatever we can. Make sure it's enough. Of course. Everything we have, anything we can give you, we will. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. So, it sounds like we have to take out the goblins before they leave, because the goblins are a threat, and that's why they want to stay here. This Druid Grove quest actually works out, because our main quest is to rescue the Druid Halson, who is actually at the goblin camp doing some research uh, that is connected to the parasite. Uh, so we're going there anyways. Our job will just be to defeat the goblins now. Before we defeat the goblins, I want to check out this cache here. And in order to do so, I think we need to come back through the ship. And we'll, we'll see when we get there, I guess. So I'm wondering if this is how we get up there. If we climb up this. There's a ladder up ahead here, and I think this leads to that secret cache that we read about. Something's happening. What is this? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or... A road to damnation. Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. What's that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. 
Man, I just wanted to get the cash, and now we're teleported to some... Where the hell are we? There. Middle of somewhere. Oh. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope. Where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Are these theatrics leading somewhere? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. And if I do want to make this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay. Did they see that? Did they have anything to say about the, everything that just happened? Or did I just experience all that by myself? Alrighty. See a heavy chest up there. Something here. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chickenous struggling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Maybe I should have someone else do this. I'm gonna survey the spiders. Creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Sleight of hand. Um, that's sounding a little bit like Astarion is going to do this. Let's, let's switch to him. All right, rogue. So what we're going to do? We're going to dart our hand in, hoping to snatch the bag. man we can get it we can get it yes barely all of those bonuses really saved the day the spiders scatter and you stash the bag something clinks among the coins all right let's see what that was i'm not sure what that was we had we got some inspiration and experience for using him 
Okay, I think this is the pouch right here, so let's open it. There is a spider egg sack and some gold. Can't use this right now. Okay, so what is this? Something or some things wriggle within this sticky shell. Can't use it right now. Hmm. Let's move it to Gale. I am not sure what to do with the spider egg sack. Maybe you guys can let me know, but we're going to continue forward. All right, so I'm going to jump up here. Oh, there's a ladder. I didn't even have to jump. <laughs> uh, some gold and a bronze goblet, which is worth 30 gold. Very nice. Look at this. I almost wish I could zoom out more. Here's the crash crashed ship. It really is something. What a cool view. So, do you have loves waiting for you Leave once this is all over? Squat. Bow-legged. Goblins, I'd say. Ooh, okay, we have a secret entrance over here. Uh, there's a backpack right here. Let's, let's search this first. Thieves tools. Um, I just did a short rest, so let's go ahead and go in here. Oop, something's happening. Let's uh, grab a Starion. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta tread carefully. What is that? Is it something we can interact with? I see. Oh my god, okay. Alright. That is. Let's get out of the way here. Let's go to the shadows. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can sneak. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I might get hit again. I see a barrel there. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. And there's a goblin over there. What is this blue button? Rune of the Eagle. So is that thing off now? Okay, let's see if I can... It's all red. Okay, we're going to be engaging in combat here in just a second. Don't know if they're talking to this one right here, so I'm waiting just a second. We have the advantage, and I can sneak attack and take out this this tracker right here. Oh, so. Oh man, and so I am in combat with just one of them right now. So let's go ahead and see if I can do a cunning action and hide. And then move back here. Let's start moving him forward. That thing should be off now. It is. I'm going to go ahead and split Gale. And he is going to stay here as well. And then I'm going to take my guy here. They're all going to be split for a second. And start coming down here. Okay, so I joined battle. I could try to do a sneak ranged attack, right? But I don't have enough movement, so I kind of screwed myself. Let's go ahead and skip the star out. Miss. We got some acid on me, and there's acid on the ground, so don't know if I can walk through that or if I have to jump out of it. That takes up a bonus action. And we can do a menacing strike on this one right here. You can take me on. And he is gone. 
All right. Let's see if he passes the check. Oh, what, 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 what happened there? Am I still? Oh, so I don't have advantage any longer. So what we're gonna just do is a normal ranged attack. We have 75% chance to get a high ground, and he has five more health. He also has two. Oops, two bonus actions. He's gonna jump on close to me here. Frightened me, and 11 damage. That was huge damage. I'm gonna lacerate. We have disadvantage because of the um, if of being frightened. We hit him with nine. Just because we can, we're gonna do second win. Just to keep us guaranteed to be in this fight here. Is that guy alive over there? Miss. Very nice. So now we have a Starion again, and we're gonna do another ranged attack. Get that guy. Oh my god, now what is he? One health? Bring him up. And see if I can help out our guy here. What happened? Why are you not moving? Okay. Let's just use a cantrip fireball. See if we can invalidate. What? What? Wait, hold on. I can't hit him? Not enough movement. Can I hit him? Oh, are you serious right now? We're just going to cast Bless on everybody. And get her moving up here as well. Because it seems like everybody's kind of out of range here. Five more damage. Let's see if we can just delete this guy real quick. Missed. Um, we are going to use... Action surge and try again. 75% chance when we miss two in a row. What the hell are the chances? That is insane. Alright, well, we have Pommel Strike. We can try to hit him with that. Critical miss. Three misses in a row at a 75% chance. That is insane. 75% chance. Let's get this guy out of the fight here. Okay, thank God. Now what we can do is start getting him uh, kind of nearby, and we're going to, once he's done, Gale, you are going to use your fireball cantrip, and hopefully just destroy this guy. 75% chance, and he is gone. That was rough, a rough fight. Let's see what they have. I wish I knew that. Who is Findle? And why are they unconscious? Let's try to bring everybody back here. Back together. Because uh, I see another button there, but I don't see what it goes to. There might be another one of those druid traps somewhere, but we'll worry about that when the time comes, I guess. We got something up here as well. Anyways. Oh my gosh, there's something over here. There's all kinds of stuff happening. All right, let's talk to this person. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. The target can't be helped. Okay, let's continue looking around here. All right, did that change anything with these over here? Because I see this. Can I get Gale to Misty Step over here? Let's see. Okay, so one thing I want to try that I haven't done yet that I have read about is, uh, and I saved it just before because I'm probably going to mess this up, but an enter turn-based mode. And so you've entered turn-based mode, the game has paused around you, so that means that thing can't do anything, I think, right? And then what I can do is I can use his Misty Step, which is unfortunately a level 2 slot, and get him right next to this. And then use that. And now that one is off, so I can leave turn-based mode and be safe. I think. I hope. Am I safe? Okay, I seem to be safe. So let's see what we even have here. We have the dead body down there. Uh-oh. 
Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna go back down. Uh, but now that the, these things are turned off, let's go ahead and just search this dead human. Who has a scroll of burning hands, as well as a charred key. A sing, uh, yeah, sing silver key held by a long dead corpse in a druid cave. No idea what that's for. Uh, we have to miss you step on back out of here, or... Let's see, actually. Can I... Jump across here? That's too far. Maybe my guy can do it, though. All right, what now? Let's see, watch out, Astarion. He's high in strength. Path is interrupted. Let's get up here. Okay, and there's a dirt mound. That's what it was. It wasn't a trap or anything like that. So we can go ahead and dig up what looks to be a chest, a wooden chest, which is full of goodies, including a scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. Interesting. Malachi uh, wisp weed, which is used for a potion. Some dagger root, also used for a potion. And some mugwort, also an antidote potion. All right, everybody's back on track now. This guy is still asleep. There was something over here, was it? Can't get up there. Can I jump up there? My guy can jump up there, so we're gonna split and just take a look real quick. See what's going on over here. Doesn't seem to be anything dangerous. There's a stone door. Okay, now we're in what seems to be Okay, we got a trap here. Oh my god, there's traps everywhere, and I am by myself. Okay, where do you think that other trap is? Let's just go straight towards this, what looks... Oh my god. Seems to be a door here, but we failed the perception check. There is something here. See, stone slab. It's locked. I don't even see a lock to pick. Okay, and we can't pick a lock. So the key that we found does not help us with that. Let's see what's over here. This might be an exit, honestly. Oh my god, where are we now? Oh. You're gonna be sorry! Every last one! Wait, what? Where are we right now? Is this... Is this the Druid's Grove? It is the Druid's Grove. So there's a back entrance that we just found into the Druid's oh, Grove. But what is over here? Somebody's in there, and I sound like they're hurt. Um, but there's also this here, which could hurt us. So I don't know if it's worth going this direction currently. This is crazy. All right, let's go back. I wonder if I heal him? Would that do it? Let's, let's just do level one heal on Findle here. Take you. Oh, oh yes! Come, come now. Hey, Findle. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. How did those goblins slip into the grove? It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. So that's all we get from Findle, huh? There's a heavy chest here. What am I thinking? I'm not even... Oh. Trap. Be cautious. It's a trapped chest. Should we... Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's see if we can disarm this here. 
Let's add the bonus. We only need 10, but it doesn't hurt to add these bonuses. So we guaranteed. Alright, we easily got that one. What to do? Alright, since my guy can carry the most. Campbell has taken the charred key from Gale using Oh, it was the charred key to open this, and there is a staff or a quarter staff. It's flytrap, chance to ensnare target if it is not a plant or a beast. We're gonna go ahead and give that to Gale. Here's Gale with his new staff. It actually looks pretty cool. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Well, remember the underground passage has an area that I have not unlocked yet. Food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Alright, we have two ways we can go here. There's, there seems to be a dead animal right here, uh, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And then we can go right, uh, which will lead us down underneath the bridge. So let's go towards the dead animal first. I don't see anybody. We got some pig meat. Who cares about some pig? The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. I don't think I'm good at medicine, but let's give it a shot. It's wisdom and it's minus one, but we can gain that one back. Nope. I wonder if we had someone else take a look at it, if it would mean anything. Seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. See nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. Why is he I'm gonna just try something real quick. Can she examine it? Nope, I can't. Okay. I kind of ruined that. I should have had her do it. But let's continue forward. So we have a bridge here. And there's a, a cart that has toppled over and a whole lot of blood on the other side of the bridge. So it seems in order to get to the goblin. Waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian. A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. So just a bunch of things that you can sell. Like, what do we do with a potato? Oh, it's camp supplies. Alright, so we have a bunch of dead bodies here. Let's continue carefully. One thing I like about this is that you can hold the X button and it does like an area scan. And then I could just loot them all from right here, which is nice. This one has a drawing on it. Can I read this? Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hand, a square, humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Okay, we're gonna take that. I don't know. Oh, defeat the, we updated our journal by picking that up. Let's see what it, what, what it says. There were three figures in the drawing we found. The goblins must have more than one leader. Oh, interesting. So it looks like we have two ways, three ways, all kinds of ways to go as usual. Oops. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. 
We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one, too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Honestly, I'm not sure. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. I'm still unsure. He could be a help to us, or not. You know, failing to make a decision is the same as making a decision. Except you decide blindly. What's your point exactly? Spit it out. My point is that Raphael was stirring the pot, trying to unsettle us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. I didn't realize you were so well-versed in mental and emotional torment. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Alright guys, we are going to stop this one short and end it right here before we continue on. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. Things are getting interesting. We are making our way towards the goblin camp to find the druid and figure out what's going on with this parasite in our head. But we'll do that more next time. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you then. Bye.